We investigated the problem relative to the flooding of the street where our schools are located, 650 meters away from each other in Pomigliano d'Arco. The rains from September 2022 to today have not been frequent, but it happened that in just one day, November 22, 2022, the rainfall reached 63.6 mm of rain, causing flooding due to the overloading of the sewage system. The houses and the streets covered the ground, depriving our territory of the ability to drain rainwater, reducing general evapotranspiration and thus barring the natural hydrological balance. Surface runoff in Sierra areas reaches significantly higher flood peaks than in non-urbanized areas. The construction of rainwater drainage systems has the purpose of mitigating the effect of waterproofing. Through Google Earth and Eversight.eu, we analyzed the artificial, silly areas and agricultural surfaces in the vicinity of the school and used the hydrological balance equation in natural condition. The study was performed considering two surfaces located in the area. One is the courtyard and the other one is a surface of a farmland. Both areas are flat and limited by paved roads, with drains that allow rainwater to flow into the urban sewer system. We estimated that the 280.6 mm of water fell on the ground of our school. Based on the rainfall data of Anche Campania from 2016 to 2021, we have also made future forecasts of rainfall in our municipality with the triangulation method and Google Form Her. The rain gauge stations closer to the Pomigliano d'Arco are installed in three cities. Naples, Camaldoli, Ottaviano and Caserta, which are arranged at the vertices of the triangle of which Pomigliano is the geometric center of gravity. Starting from the data of these three stations and through the calculation of weighted average, we were able to estimate the water that fell in Pomigliano in the reference period. The weight for the average was calculated as the inverse of the distance of the three locations from the bar center of Pomigliano d'Arco. We have deduced that the annual rainfall should decrease, but the problem will not decrease with it, because what does the most damage is the intensity of the rainfall in a few hours. In conclusion, to overcome the problem, urban drainage channels could be created to drain the water. But let's keep in mind the important role that nature can play in shaping our cities of the future to be more resilient, livable and prosperous.